Hey, hey, Frick here, we're back. And today we're back for a new series I'm doing. It's about time, actually. I've been wanting to do this for a while. We finally got the Madagascar 2 Glitch series complete out of like five games I do glitches on. <laughs> yeah, there's still ever, there's still hitting one, there's still this game, there's still a few, and there's BFBB modding that I do all the time, and I play a bunch of mods from 064 and other stuff. So, there's a lot, my content's still gonna be doing that stuff, guys. I'm not, this content is not taking over my channel permanently. Like, it's gonna be alongside my other content. Alongside my other content. So, I'm still gonna be making mod videos and making mods for BFBB movie and stuff. Playing mods from L64 movie and sometimes BFB Wanamar. I think BFB Wanamar, we've played that enough. I honestly can't find enjoyment in that anymore. And unless Eager makes a new, makes new settings, because I've played it so many times. Yes, I like the, the psychedelic colors, but I've played it so many times to death. Shift is only played it twice. Most people only play it. I played that thing probably more than 60 times, so. But today, we're going to start a Let's Play series. Well, we're going to start Let's Playing games. I mean, but today, we're starting off with Sly 1. It's like, well, technically, it's like Cooper and the Fierce Raccoonus. But I'm going to come. I'm going to be calling it Sly 1 for short. And we're playing it through the HD Sly Collection on actual PS3. Not emulation, not, not virtual console, actual PS3. Now I make sure the disc was clean before I putting it in because this damn game is so sensitive, I swear. I have to, I have to make sure it's perfectly, no smudges or anything. So yeah, so we're, we're going to play Sly 1. We will be playing 2. This game is long as hell, okay? 2 is long as hell. And I, I've played 2 for, 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 for a month now. On my own time. I've beaten it three times. One time because I wanted to, and two times because of force. What do I mean by force? I'll talk about that later on in the video, maybe. But let's just get into Sly 1. So, let's start playing this. So. Alright. Game... There in one sec. It's just holding up. And that's there he is, Sly Cooper on the rooftops, his first appearance. And in the Sly collection, it's Butcher because he actually he's supposed to have a shadow there, but. We're playing the Sly Collection because I like the better frame rate, and there's no fog. So, there's pluses to the Sly Collection version of Sly 1, but as you guys know, this game is busted as shit. Sly 1 for the Sly Collection has a lot of issues. <laughs> Graphical issues, voice glitches, crashes, um, missing... There's a lot of stuff wrong with this game, as you probably know. The Miss Ruby boss fight's butchered. A lot of problems. So, we're going to start a new game. And we're in this, in case you're wondering how this is going to go, I am playing the I am playing the entire game. I am playing through everything. See my 100% file here? Yeah, we're 100% in this, this, this game. We're playing everything. We're getting, we're doing all the keys. We're getting all the, all the clue bottles. And we're getting all, and we're going to get all the time trials complete. We're doing the entire game. I'm not skipping over the time trials. I'm doing everything. In this game, I'm sure every people have too, but uh, some people this. I'm doing the entire thing, <laughs> so we're gonna start a new game with slot three, I guess. So just delete this one, I guess. Start the game now. Sly, come in. Sly, do you read me? <clears throat> yeah, I read you loud and turn it up. Very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count sure on you me do. to be your eyes and ears, buddy. We got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel slide. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the mm -hmm. rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. So we have control over the game. And, um, 
you start the game, you can there's options. Like you can load a game, you can save a game, whatever you want. You can turn the music on and off. There's a lot of stuff kind of bare stuff in minimum settings, but I'll try to show you that. Now sliding forgets how to jump, so we're gonna let him Slide! Hit the X button to jump! Oh, it's X! I thought it was triangle. My bad. <clears throat> okay. These rats, actually, if you get fast enough, to, you can get coins from these things. But they're pretty fast, though. They do come out of these holes sometimes. If you didn't know, they... You see? And they make a goo, like... They, like, act like they're... Yeah, weird. And if you get a hundred... Okay, in the coins in this game, this is Sly 1. So Sly 1 is not... If you guys have never played Sly Cooper 1, it, you've only come from Sly 3 or, or hell, even the... Sly 4. Um, Sly 1 is not Sly Cooper as you know it. Sly 1 is more of a Crash Bandicoot kind, kind of game. No, I'm serious. If you guys, if you like Crash Bandicoot, you would like this game. Because this game is basically Crash Bandicoot, just not as hard. It's basically the same thing. The clue book. We're going to go into more of that, but it's it's a lot like Sly Cooper. It's, it's basically Crash Bandicoot 3, warped. With all the, there's mini games in this game. There's a lot of things in this game. But it doesn't have, um... There's driving levels in this game, but they're not like awful to control. They're they're not great, but they're not like fast breaking difficulty. Hey, now that could be the the, the trilogy that's the problem. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Crash free. Really? I've never played the original Crash Free. Master Raccoon Thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. So as Bentley says, these circle things, um, these blue auras are, they are basically, if you go near them and press and hold, press and hold the circle button, you don't see the press, you can't, it's not just press it, you have to hold it or you just let go like this. I don't know why he doesn't say press it. That's kind of, I just thought that. Why doesn't he say to hold the button? Because if you just press it. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Bentley, they forgot to add like a specific thing. But and most people know to hold it anyway. But yeah, you hold it and you can do this like sneak across small ledges. You get this cool animation. It's like. There's that very. There's the moon there. Yeah, there's no fog in the PS3 version. There's a bit of fog right over there. Like very minor stuff, like right there, but it's not constantly over the whole game. So. How do I get in here? How do I get in here? Try hitting the square button to break things. Oh, okay. Square button. Thanks, Bentley. Get the coin, bro. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Okay, we, we don't want that, do we? So we have to avoid these laser beams. If you you can touch them, if you do touch them in this level, you just set the alarm off. But sometimes you can't touch them. There, I got it. And if you touch... Well, basically, I can't show you a good example right now. I can. If you touch them once, they become orange-red. They become orange, is the way this thing. Um, they don't hurt you the first time, and you get this blaring like, alarm that won't shut up. But if you actually touch them again, then they'll hurt you. But if you make this noxious alarm, then they turn off. So, goodbye. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. And this is apparently a spoiler here. One of the later bosses. That, yeah, right here. Interesting. I just sort of spoil one of the later versions. And that one poster, there's one poster they reuse in Slide Free. I don't know if it's not, maybe I'm wrong, but there's one poster they straight up reuse. Maybe it's not, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm, is it this, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong actually. I thought they reused a the poster. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe I'm wrong about that. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around Yeah, window. It. Let's see the window, Bentley. 
Uh, did not let go. Okay, is that a click solution? I don't know. I, sometimes he lets go of the button in that one area right here. I don't know why that happens. Very noxious. I'm gonna show the pictures. I don't know. I don't, I don't just hold, show them anyway. Very little throaty though. Some of them actually have had nothing on them. Wow. And that slide I think, right? Very blurry image. He's said, well, you have no... Carmelita, you didn't take the picture properly. It's just a black picture. You didn't even take the picture. It's just a black nothingness. The map here shows where the Sly's been. All these places. Basically, this is tracking Sly where he's been. I can't read it. Or anything. There's Sly there. There's another picture. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 9 3. So these games have vaults you open, and this you need this is a, st a story based vault. But the rest of the game, you, you can completely ignore the vaults, but if you want to get a 100% ending, like a good a good ending, you need to get all the vaults. This game is like Crash, it's basically Crash. You get, there's, there's a good ending. Well, this game has both good endings, actually. There's, you, but there's a, a better ending, I mean. There's, there's no actually bad ending, bad ending in this game, though. So. Okay, nine, three, seven. I hope the Let's Play Curse doesn't happen where I play the time trials and I nice or job. something in this you're game I'm bad at it because I'm recording. If you come down through the fire escape, I don't really think that's I don't know. The lot, we'll be in the now if I, I if I ever get there's some parts of this game I still get stuck on like for example there's some missions some mini games that still kind of make me annoyed. There's specific there's a specific three or two that I have trouble with still to this damn day. So if, if I feel more than the rule will be if I feel more than three times. I'll just play off camera until I beat it. Or if you guys want me to record the f everything until I get it, then just leave a comment about that, and I'll record raw. I, but I'll only record up to three times unless someone says otherwise. Okay? Criminal. If, unless someone says otherwise on my channel, I'm not gonna record past three parts if I fail, obviously. You foolish raccoon. Because I've it just gets annoying you. recording it. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. I want to show you. We're actual, we're actual on PS3 right here. See? But this is actual PS3 hardware. We're playing the actual PS3 game. This, this is not emulation. Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, yeah. but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long. Hopefully, time. the game cooperates though, um, because the disc was a bit dirty. I had to clean it, but this game is very infamous for acting up. The slightest of scratches or the small. This Sly collection, I will tell you right now, do not, do not scratch. Be careful if, you, if this game gets any. Your disc will start to rot and stop or and deteriorate over over the course of a month. If you didn't know that, yeah, this is an actual thing of this game. The side collection is not made very well. Be very careful with the discs, by the way. Treat them like gold, I swear. They get even like a couple more than a couple. The game will start. Like, what will happen is your game will start to act up, and then your game will keep getting worse on its own. It, even though the scratches aren't getting worse, the game will keep getting more deteriorated. Yeah, I'm serious. That's an actual thing. It's, it's ridiculous. I've gone through more and more comments in the game that I can count. Okay, now we're going to get into a full cutscene. I'm not going to talk during these ones. Once again, my gang and I have given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see... I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. 
You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving ways fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme. And Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoons. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Okay. Damn. Yeah, this isn't your normal kiddest kiddest platformer if you didn't if you can't tell by what's happening. This Sly Cooper, if you didn't know, is not a game that's like happy No. This game Sly's family his parents get straight up murdered. And Sly has to go to an orphanage and he meets Bentley and Murray and he becomes they become his friends and gang. But this game is not like a kid. They literally. Slice parents die in this game. And the other two games they mention it, but this isn't a kiddish platformer, like a kiddie platformer, like some people that know, don't know this series probably think it is. No, it's not. It, it, it's, especially the second game. The second game is actually way more darker than this, than this one. This one's lighthearted compared to the second one. Jeez. Second one's pretty messed up at points, actually. Like, mainly the contestant levels. But if I ever play that game for you guys for a full playthrough, I'll talk about that. But yeah, that game, I don't know how Slide 2 got an E rating. I'll tell you that right now. How the frig did Slide 2 get an E rating? It's. It should not be E! A freaking five year old could play Slide 2 and get scared due to some of that stuff in that game. That is. That is, should not be an E rating! I don't care! Should be E10! Or at least teen! Like this is a slide face should be E10. Slide face is more 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 chill, but two is dark at points. Like for Pete's sake, but we're not just saying. I had to get put that out there. Like shit. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route okay, to our so first target. This is the hideout. This is the um basically the hub of the game where you can basically watch movies and stuff. That's it. This is very pathetic. It's a cool to see this area, but honestly, it's why can't I walk around the slide walk around on, on, on foot? I would like that better <laughs> than just oh, just damn, I've already like this. A route to now, our first target. this is the second level. You can get this game has teasers. This is level two, which you can't access right now because Murray's blocking it. But here, Murray has these little gags. You can he's eating whatever the hell that is, popcorn or chips. And if you press the X button, he'll do a little like, goofy animation, a gag. There's actually two of them, and some of these have two two voice clips. One. One. Yeah, he does two different variations of that. What you want? One. You want? Oh, you want one? Oh, you want one? Yeah, he he, he has two voice clips for that. And so those that say Murray does not eat, Murray eats in this every slide game. So I can see why Sons Aru took that idea because he does eat a lot. But the problem is, that's not all he does. He doesn't just eat. He 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 he's more than that. <laughs> like he fights enemies. Um, he's a he's. Well, in this game, he's um. This isn't the Murray you know. If you play Slide for Two and Three and did not play this game, this is not the, this is not the Murray that you know. This is a different Murray. He's. But we'll get to that later on. In the, but 
yeah, this is not the, the Murray that you normally know. <laughs> it's not the same. But, um, yeah, he just... Yeah, I can see why Sanzaru says that he eats... I can see why they got that idea. Because even... Some people say that that he never eat, dude. This is there's ev there's clear evidence of him eating in these games. This game he eats free snacks four four times. He eats this. There's two three ever times he eats food on in the game. So he is a food. He does love eating food. Okay, but some people like to say he doesn't. No, he does love eating food. But that's not a staple of his character. They overdid that, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they- I've already plotted a route to our first He just said that. So this is level one right here. Let's go to it. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand in a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the fiendish five as chief machine, where his evil teetering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this bad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh triangle. <coughs> First level of the game. Let's let's begin. So now we have access to the free things. So this is how the game. This is the game's loop. How this goes. So um, if you, in the bottom right corner, the bottom right corner, you see where it says the title of the level. Um, it's still for your pros. I think. I can't see from back here. My video sitting far back. But anyway. There's, there's three icons in the bottom right corner of the screen. There's a key icon, there's a circular icon, and a timer icon. This every level, well not every level, the mini games only have the key. But we'll get to that later. But this game has three things you collect. First there's the key, and the, there's something else I'll get into. And then there's the timer, once you beat the level, get get the key, and then you, get, you have to get both items. It's basically a crash minute, yeah. But this is how you play the game, and this is how the gameplay loop goes. You get keys in the game. Get about every level, every world has every level you go to has about seven areas you go to. Yeah, every level has seven areas, sub areas you go to, and there's one key in each of them. When you get seven keys, you can access that area's that area's boss and beat the boss. Um, um steal back the, the Fierce Marcus page, and then you go on to the next. Level and mention, and that's how the game goes. So <laughs> that's how to tell you how it works. There's a glitch you can do here, but I think it's only in the PS2 version. I, mean, I just don't know how to do it, but you can get launched up apparently. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb boots. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and robes. Yeah, sure. Like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Yeah, that's a problem playing this game, though. They talk a lot. If I talk over one line, it's not my... Yeah, they talk a lot. It's hard to remember everything. Okay, these are clue bottles. I'm going to talk about them before I, he talks here. He does... The trigger, he'll talk here. So, these are clue bottles. And what these do is these, these are basically the crates from Crash Bandicoot. If you're a Crash Bandicoot fan, you would like Sly 1. Sly 1 actually is basically a Crash... It's a lot like Crash. These are clue bottles. And what these do is they, um... Collect on all of them in the level, all of them, and you can open that level's vault. And that's basically, how, it's like the top right corner, it shows you zero out of yeah, all the clues. And that's the HUD. There's coins, there's the health bar, and yeah. 
In the bottom, there's your percentage. One percent. I feel accomplished. Now, that's very interesting. The best <laughs> thing you've found appears to be some sort of club. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. The more I have, you mean all I need. You need all of them. Don't, yeah, you need all of the clues. And I know where they all are. Some levels, I might miss one measly clue because sometimes I just skim past them, like, you know, but most of the time I, I, I know where all this stuff is. I'm, I've been playing Sly Cooper Gear games since 2013. I started playing a Sly Collection. I started, I played Sly Free way back in 2007. Yeah, I've been a Sly Cooper fan for a very, very, very long time. And it hurts me. The Sly Cooper series is dead. It hurts me. The, the Sly Cooper series has been dead for over, like, a decade or something. We in the community want another game. We want it so bad, and we haven't, we, our voices need to be heard. We want these, we want these games to come out, to come back. Just got these. We want these games to come back, so when are they going to come back? I have no damn clue, but I only hope at some point we get another Sly Cooper game. Or just we master these, you know, instead of making a Sly Collection that is kind of better, but flawed in every way, almost. <laughs> Ever than HD graphics, it's got a lot of flaws. Make a full-fledged remaster. I would love that. Like Crash Bandicoot, or, well, we hydrated, I wouldn't say that the game is, um, very glitchy, but you can still enjoy we hydrated, but I prefer the Crash Bandicoot remasters, and Spyro, what people say, aren't the best remasters, because of all the changes that were in that game, but I never played those remasters yet, so... I will at some point play them. Maybe. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You're done whining. Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Yes, it's very nice indeed. Now, this game is an instant kill. If, I will show you once I can hit a checkpoint. I'll show you. Like, this game is an instant kill. So, it's like Crash Bandicoot. This first slide. So, um... Okay, I'll die. I'll die. Yeah, this is an instant kill. If you, if you get hit by one thing, you're dead. But luckily this game does have a... A um, Alku Alku masks, you know, system kind of thing, and I'll explain how that works when it shows up. Right now we have 91 coins, 81, 91 coins out of 100, so you might see it soon. You're gonna see it soon anyway. And these are checkpoints. When you hit, when you come across these, this will save. It doesn't save your game. It just saves your progress in the level. It doesn't save the game. Like, don't take it as that. No, it's not. This game is not auto save like that. Unless you open vaults or get keys. Or manually quit the game. Or manually go and save. This will not save your progress legit, Bentley. <laughs> According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Ruff... Okay, I might as well mention something before I continue. You can, there's a cool easter egg in this game where, where you can move the guy's heads. If you use the both the left analog stick and right analog stick, you can move their heads in cutscenes. For some reason, this wasn't moved in slide 2 and 3. On bad weather at his own hideout, 24-7. See? Look at Sly, I'm moving his head. For rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Yeah, you can move the head, it's kinda cool. <coughs> yeah, they're barely a threat, these enemies in this game. I can just take them all out with like one punch. This waterfall will push you, the current is pretty strong, so keep jumping. You wanna keep jumping here. Very strong current. Is it okay? See that thing that's on Sly's back? This is a hit point. If I were to get hit now, I will lose this, but I'll still have one more hit to stay alive. 
And you can see my 100 coins have gone back, the counter's gone back to zero. Because we have a hit, an extra hit, an extra hit point. How this game works, if you have 100, if you have no hit points on your back, these are called horseshoes. Oh, they're called Lucky Charms, actually, but they're actually horse. I call them horseshoes. They're named for them. That's what they are. Um, they're actually called Lucky Charms, though. Like, what is this? Zero? It's not. These, um, you have zero of these. You get, when you get 100 coins the first time, you get one, one horseshoe. It's a blue one. If you get 100 coins the second time, you get a gold horseshoe, but you have two hit points. If you get 100 coins after that, without losing your horseshoes, without losing them, you will get an extra life. That's how it works. And this game has a, is, has a bad, as a death system. If you die enough in this game, it will give you a horseshoe, and extra lives easier. Yeah, the game will actually help you out a bit. I think the mini games also get easier a little bit. I, I know Sly Free does that. Sly Free, if you die a lot in that game, the game will actually get easier for you. Very nice that Sucker Punch thought of that, because that Sly Free does have some difficult points in that game. I still have trouble nice job so far, Sly. this day. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto yeah, the hook. You, you, you hit that circle button like all the time, so like you said, you jump and you hit the circle button, and you can swing on these things. Wait, 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 I was just messing around with that, huh? You saw that, right? I went up, like, like, like I'm playing Hydrate or Cosmic Shade. Um, he went up. <laughs> I always thought I'd been trying to do that. So this is a standard splat from like Crash Bandicoot. You have the time, there's moving things you jump on, there's enemies you fight. Yeah, it's a linear game platformer, but it's basically, if you want to play a Crash Bandicoot game, it's, if you want more Crash Bandicoot, Sly 1 is a good idea for you, because it's a lot like the games. And it's not as hard, though, as Sly, it's not like Crash Bandicoot difficulty. Like, it's, it's not Crash 1 difficulty. This game is pretty simple, for the most part. But it is challenging at points. Mainly the minigames. <laughs> but we'll get to those things later on. Wow, we triggered the alarm. Not, I, do I feel special? I know some minute minute moves slow. Here's the vault. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you Yeah, so this is the vault you need. You need all the clues to open it. If you try to open it, you can you know, in case you're wondering, can I cheese this? Can I just look up the code online and go in? Uh, they thought of that. Bummer, you can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. Yeah, this isn't like Barnard where you can make the recipes early or ever games where you have to, if you know the code, know the recipe, you can, no, you can't actually press circle to use it. Bummer, you can't open this vault without finding the clues. So you can't just cheat. If they thought of that, didn't think of that, you could just open all these vaults of all the codes. <laughs> Thankfully they thought of that, because you would be able to, all the clue bottles would be pointless. You know, they would be pointless. <laughs> they would be, like, absolutely pointless, but at least they actually thought of that. Because if they didn't think of that, this stuff would be completely useless. They got all of them. Yeah, I know. I just said that. Now you can actually, now you can use it. And he'll tell you this every single time. Press circle to enter the vault. I know how to, how to press circle. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Yeah, 792, I already put it in. I know the, I know a lot of these codes. Well, not all of them, but I know I can remember them. <laughs> I played this so much. Yes, I have. Yeah, I've played this game a lot. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button. I am so happy to play this game for you guys. I'm looking forward to playing this game. I know a lot of stuff in this game that I can help you with if you have trouble with the time trials and stuff. There's a lot of things I can like help you with people, help people with this game. In case people have those time trials for newcomers or, or pure hell. Like for me, they were pure hell back in the day, but I'm looking forward to covering that a little bit. And here's the key. Hit that and you get the key. 
you get very slow animation, and you get like very bad audio balancing with the music, but I don't know if that's a slight collection or the that's an old one, but that music is very audio loud there, jeez. Like, <laughs> it's like jeez. And these are next areas, let's go in here. And this is the this is the level hub, basically. So it, this is the sub hub area of every level has a sub hub and these take you to other levels. This is the map. You can you can't go these areas right now. But you have to access this is the Yeah, every level has the introduction, which is this area. Then you act this is the hub area where you pick other levels like Crash Bandicoot. Oh, he won't say because I did a jump, okay. So he'll host, if you don't make that jump, Bentley will say something like, um, Sly, if you press the jump button, sorry, standard jump, press the jump button twice for extra high jump flip. Something like that. If you don't make it, if you don't jump properly there. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests, and that's where I'll find it. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Yeah. So let's just play the game off, shall we? Here. Wow, you found a lucky charm. Yes, at least. I already covered, covered it. Bentley, shut up. Um, these um can be lying can be also lying about too, and no, this team does not have an Aku, Aku like invincibility mask, Miss um horse doing. It just has the go blue and gold, and then extra health if you have these by yeah, you know what I mean. You know, you get you have like twenty one coins right now. Okay. And you come over, like you saw, I climbed up there, you get extra health. If you go over here and break this window, you get an extra health. And if you have a horseshoe, um, I already have two horseshoes right now. But if you don't have any any horseshoes or just one, like no, no gold, you break that window, you get a horseshoe from there. This has a lot of secret health in this area you can get. So that's kind of good. Do I want to wrap it up yet? No, I don't. I want to try to play a bit of the, a chunk of per episode. I mean, I want to try. Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. Yeah, I'm going to play a chunk of the game at one. I'm going to end it off after. I'll do one. T I'll do a time trial after this maybe. No, I think we'll say yeah. Part three. We're going to have to end it right after this level. I don't want to make the phone too. I mean, it was too long, but. We'll do one more. We'll do this level though, at least right now. Eureka! We're in the engine room. 
my analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. And now we have now we new have a new move. With triangle, we can now take these guys out with a with a hit attack. So now we can yeah, we get this like little um this is a fun move to play with, actually. This one, I like. I'm not all of them are useless. A lot of them are useless, but this was a fun one to use. Also, the one we're getting next, you need that for time trials. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras mm -hmm. to perform super sneaky thief moves. I got it. Let me just play the game for five seconds. Okay, now we can actually talk now. I think now I can talk to you guys for a bit. There's not much dialogue now for a bit, finally. Jeez. Um... What was I going to talk about? There was something I was going to talk about, and I never forgot what it was. Yeah, I don't remember now. But, um, I recently downloaded, I'm going to, I recently found a cool mod from, 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 from SM64. It's called Superman 64 Maker. It's not the one that, that, Kaiz, I don't know who, there's one that's not, it doesn't let you do as much as you would like. It's there's a new one made by someone else. I forget the name of who who it is. He made or she. You know, I know it's a guy. I watched this video on it making it. He made a damn male 64 modding tool that allows you to have everything that you need to make levels. I am dead serious. It is so good. You can make Koopa to quick quick races. You can uh, make Bowser just spawn and immediately put a bomb and fight him. You can make, but. King Babam up here, and you can add a star into him, so when you beat him, you get a star. You can make red coin shot. You can just add water with a click of a button. Yeah, it's great. You can rise and make the water levels rise and fall. It's really good, honestly. Great job, dude. Like, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that out, messing with that. Like, Industrial Park is a modding tool I use for BFBB. Slash movie, slash, well, technically, I'm gonna go in my order. I normally mock, well, it's technically Scooby comes in, but it, yeah, I don't know who cares what order. The Industrial Park level editor it supports BFBB, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo Never Hunter Frights, the SpongeBob movie game, and also Incredibles. Not a fan of, I don't really care about the Incredibles game. I like the movie, but I will, I do mess around with all three of the other ones. But the problem with Industrial Park, the problem with Industrial Park, though, is you don't, unlike Mill Maker, the new Mill Maker, you get all the tools already for you. You get NPC Toads, you get, like I said, Cooper the Quick, you get Water, you get um, the Bombs, you get the Bowser, you get, I don't know if you get King Wonk, you probably do. You get um, the script for races to make races by default. You get everything to make mods for levels. I think, every, mostly, I think everything. The problem with Industrial Park... Industrial Park is a fantastic level editor. The program is very easy to use. I mean, well, it's not the easiest thing in the world to use. It's not the easiest thing ever, but it's not hard, the hardest thing ever either. It's kind of in the middle. It's not, like, degree, like, 500 degree, like, math thing, but... It's not, like, easy as shit either. It's kind of in the middle. But the problem of Industrial Park, if the newcomers that want to mod that game have to grab things from levels, you don't get floating blocks by default in, in Bikini Bottom. You do in the movie, though. You, you, you don't get fans that move. You, you don't get water. You don't get, like, fire. You don't get spikes. Yeah, a lot of that stuff you don't get by default. Why? That's something that every editor, even no editor, you get everything by default. I only hope Igor, if they ever find a way to just give you all the, just give us all the editor files. I would, if you ever do that, I'm not being pussy, like, like, trying to push around or anything. I'm not trying to be like, like, you know, like, but if you ever, please, if at some point, can you please add more editor files, or at least a lot of them? Because for newcomers, it's going to be hard for them to make levels or just, or just the buttons. I mean, at least, I will say... I am very proud that he gave you all the enemies. That is very nice of him. You get all the enemies and you get all the buttons. Movie game, you get all the, the floating blocks. You get the fans. You get the the collapsing platforms. You get um you get quite a movie game. The maker the he 
you get a lot of stuff with movie. You want to mod, use movie first. Movie's probably good for, for the beginners, because you get a lot of stuff by default. So, that's the good news about that. And here's the level's vault right here. Bummer, you can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. Yeah, no shit, Bentley. You better go back and find an alternate Like, do you really think I'm gonna jump? Oh, it's it's burning, scolding hot heat. I'm gonna jump right onto the to that. Yeah, totally. Like, that's totally something I'm gonna do. Yeah. Um, no. Sly, you've gotta find okay, we didn't miss a clue bottle. Thank the Hylia. We didn't miss any, really. Thankfully. And my brain goes, oh yeah, then that's the number I put it in. <laughs> it's just so many times. Interesting. <laughs> Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon oh, roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. And there's... And when Sly gets, he always puts leave behind a clue, like, as close to you. Now, this game, I have grips with Sly 1 a bit. Because this game, you're not stealing technically anything. There's no pick. All the, the thief mechanics come from 2 uh, and, the, and beyond. Um, this, this isn't stealing. You're taking back what's rightfully yours. It would be like if I, if I go to my friend's house and my friend's a jerk and steals something from me, right? Like, I had a friend that stole a copy of TAC 2. For my PS2, and he never gave it back. If you know, you, you know who you are. If you did that, if you ever watched my come across my channel, not not cool, not cool, bro. Yeah, but that was years ago. I'm just saying. Yeah, he stole a copy of my one of my video games. He took two of them, top top, tack two, and Star Wars. One of the, one of my Star Wars Lego Star Wars. He broke Lego Star Wars in half, and he also and he kept tack two. Why? Not cool, bro. Anyway, if I go to his house and steal it back, that's not stealing. That's my game, my property. That's Sly Cooper's Phoebus Raccoon's pages. That's that's his property, his ancestors, that's his stuff. His family's stuff. That's not stealing. That's your stuff. This isn't stealing. This isn't thieving. Sly 1, there's no thieving in this game. Uh, the cutscenes, they steal stuff from shops and stuff. Yeah, but... Why can't I do that in the game? Why can't I go up to shops and steal stuff from people? Why? Why is, why is that not in Slide 1? Thank God Slide 2 added that, but yeah, Slide 1 it doesn't have any feeding whatsoever. Really. There's none. Only in the cutscenes they steal stuff. And when you go back to the vaults, you see a bunch of loot. But, you, but you're not taking that as a player. As a player, you're not stealing any of it. It's just, it just they take it for you. Yeah, in 2 and 3 and 4, you have to steal stuff, so. But in the first game, this isn't the full-fledged mechanics I've been fully up. Okay, there's the burn animation. We just saw it. There's the burn. I got burned. There's a burn animation there. Okay. Here's the key. Yeah, part 1 is going to be very long, so... But I think future pl future parts, we're going to shorten this to a little bit. We're going to try to play... I'm going to play two levels per part, I think. That's how we do this. If the, if it's mini games, I'll make it longer. Because mini games aren't very long. Now we're going to do one... We're going to finish this off with a time trial. I'll do one time trial. And the rest of this playthrough would do... The, but we're, I'm going to try my best to play this for you. <laughs> I'm recording on a camera, though. So let's hope I can do this. Um, I hope... Okay, first of all, you want to make sure you use the wool move. This right here. This is the wool move, and we're going to try our best to do the time trial.
Okay, try to go as fast as you can. And this level, I don't have much advice, but just when you when you find a hill that you can roll down, roll down it. Um, when you grab these hooks, don't hang on them. Just quickly, and then yeah, quickly try to take shortcuts. Just it's not much of an intricate. This just play the level as fast as you can. Like it's kind of like that. Um, try to play it fast where you where you can um, play it fast. Um, not all the time trials are hard as hell. A lot of them though are though. A lot of them are pretty hard. So, like as you can see, the time for these are very very strict. And I think usually I can do it in four seconds. I don't know, but I am recording a video. Um, yeah, that is strict. And I can play these because I have played this game for so many years now that I can do a lot of this stuff. <laughs> like, they are strict. They are really strict, though. Actually, let's, let's, let's just do the other one. If I die, though, if I fail this, we'll record the next one. We'll come back. Let's just do the other one, okay? Now, you want to break this first. I recommend you just do this. Maybe you don't have to, but it, just do that first, maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. Maybe don't. I, I'm just trying to find faster ways to do this. Like, fat, a more optimal strategy here. I did buy a game on eBay that I got that's very strange. Um, I have to make a video on it at some point. I won't gonna spoil it, but, but I bought a game on e online that there's something very wrong with the disc. And I don't know if anybody else has had a copy like this. I'm not gonna spoil what game it is, but yeah, there's something wrong with the game. I there's something very weird about the disc I got. Not like the fact, not like it. It's kind of weird, honestly. Kind of stuff. And I'll show you it. In a later video at some point. It's a GameCube. It's a GameCube game I got. It's for I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but um it's weird. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the disc. I don't play it right now. I'm gonna probably attempt to use it, but I don't know what's wrong with the disc, but I'll make a video on it at some point. And you in this game is an instant kill, so if you get hit by any of this stuff dead and if you have a horseshoe when you come into the time trials no Sanzo sucker punch thought of that um sucker punch you will lose your horseshoe when you load the time trial they don't want you to cheat at all you have to do this like if you get 100 coins though in the time trial you will get a horseshoe but you don't get a horseshoe by default is what i'm saying Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I'll record it. I would do it. I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna do this. Let's do it. Like, part one, part one will be very long, but the other parts are short enough. Like, like, part one, I'm gonna make long. And then the other parts will shorten them quite a bit. What I probably should do, guys, is make a backup of my save file in case my phone ever dies in the middle of recording, and, and then the game auto saves. I lose. I should make a backup of my save file. Probably a smart idea, actually. We probably should do that. Yeah, I might have to do that actually. Make a backup of my save file, but you can do that. I probably should do that. If I lose all this stuff, I'll be very upset. Yeah, right there. Do a wall move to land, and then. Um, just try your best to speed up. Like, right here, use your will move, because you have a little chance to move. So. Right here, it's like... The only problem is that one fire guy near the end, I always don't know how to get around him fast enough. I can just stop. But this guy, you can just skip over him, because... But there's some of them you can't. Like, I am putting all my effort to speed up here. I'm recording a video too. I'm surprised. I'm, yeah, I'm doing this well for a camera recording. Like, I don't play any Let's Plays for you. I've never done Let's Play before, so I'm surprised I'm doing this well. Oh my! 
Go right through the little corner there. It's my first Let's Play. I'm proud of how this is going so far. Damn, like... My comic... I like the... I'm, I like how I'm doing this so far. I'm just gonna play it safe right now. And we missed the... Oh, damn, this is gonna be annoying. The first one went so well. The first one. Okay, let's just try to bust through this. Wow, this I'm not doing very well right now. No, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do this on. I'm gonna do the time trials on camera. I want to do this on camera though. This stuff. I really want to do this on camera for you guys because I like playing. I like doing. But yeah, that's probably because I'm recording a video. Some of the stuff might be because of that. But on off camera, I can do this my first try. But it's my. I don't know how to do this. Well, actually, usually I use um. Usually I'm like using like I sometimes have horseshoes with me, right, or something. But if I okay, if I have a horseshoe, we can be a little bit more brute force. So sometimes I'll have one horseshoe. This level has one part that that makes me annoyed. It's like fire guy knew that part, that last part. He's the time killer. He's the only problem with this, as you can see. That I'm pretty good. At this one, it's just that one part. And the elevator goes up, and you lose all the damn time, and it's like. We got our not. We got ourselves a horseshoe. Aren't we happy? I gonna lose it. Oh, I didn't lose that. Hold. How did we not lose a horseshoe from that? I do not know. Yeah, I'm taking my time. I'm, this level is actually for the second level, man. The time trial is pretty annoying in this one. Down! Oh my god! What is your problem, game? If I didn't actually, st if I stopped for five seconds, I would have actually made that. Oh my god, dude. It's the less, it's the less play curse. If I stop recording this, I swear. Come on, dude, this is sad. Usually I'm good. I yeah, know, like, I, as soon as you record something, it's my first let's play too, so. It's gonna be like that. 
I'm gonna do it on camera though. I wanna do this on camera though. I'm gonna do it on camera. I'm gonna do it on camera. I'm gonna do it. Just it's a bit hard because um this part is stupid. There's some parts of this level that's just stupid as hell for time trial. Like there's one part of this asshole right here. It appears later on. That the second the third the fourth guy of the fourth hit like, this is, I, I had it, my, I had my run, like, several times. These, these fans, too, are the worst. Just, seriously. I had it four times. No, I'm just gonna play it safe a little bit, because, usually, I think I do that, usually, I'm just trying to... Okay, there I'll do it, but... Man! Now, can you actually landslide? Like, go down. There, thank you. Pain in the ass. First time he went down without any issue. Second time he doesn't know where he wants to go. How do I do this so easily? Damn it, I missed it. But you know what? That's still fine. It probably will be. Unless my game is like a, a different version of the game. Because I never just broke. Is this harder? Because holy shit. The time trial is like... What is going on? It's like hard as shit today. Are you kidding me? Right there, too. This is stupid. Why am I doing long? I mean, I think I'm taking my time because I'm filming. Usually I have, I think I have, usually have, I have a second horseshoe at that point sometimes. So I can, I can, I can risk getting hit by that guy. This is, okay, normally, I mean, the first time trial, you saw that, like, I did that perfectly, the first try. This, this is usually one of the, I think this is one of the harder ones to me, yeah. This is one of them that can be a bit annoying, still to this day. And I am recording my first Let's Play, so yeah, there's a Let's Play curse. So, yeah, you could, I'm gonna, be, this is gonna be long. I'm gonna record this on camera. I'm gonna get this done. I wanna record this at least. If I don't, you know what? I'll end the video and then we'll come back and do it fine. I'll come back, but I want to record this, end it with these two time trials complete. I would like to do that. <laughs> I would like to do that. And yes, you're seeing me wait for it. You're seeing me get frustrated. I don't normally say that. I don't, I don't normally play games. I don't normally actually um, play games for you. So now you see my rage. Happy. <laughs> oh my god. Like, how many times? The same thing. Die. Bastard. Down! Do you not know what down is, Bo? It's go down. <laughs> like... Bastard. There. We got time. I think. Yo, we, yeah, we, it's still tight though. As you can see, this is so hard. Hit this. And you got to do all this crap too. This is not going to be, if you don't play speed, if you don't like, there. Wow, that was hard and usable. <laughs> Oh my god, you said I can do it my first try. I guess that lets the Let's Play curse is, is a real thing. Yeah, it definitely is. Because that, usually I, I'm usually really good at that one. But I, I think usually, maybe I do have a horseshoe, so I'm more brave to whisk it. Or uh, maybe I just have one by default at, when I go that level usually. You know, when I try dying for, for an example. No, I don't know. Or maybe I just, because I'm including it, I'm going to just say that. Yeah. So if you go here. You get okay now. I can show you. So 
you have one horseshoe. Um, there's an extra health hit. You can get an extra health right here. You come back. They will they will respawn for you. Can't, they will always once you die and load, we load the level. We load the level. I mean, we load. They come back. So you can keep getting extra health. And then you can then turn and go over here, and you can get a, if you don't have two horseshoes, you can come over here and you can get another horseshoe. There. And thanks for watching my first um, video for Sly Cooper. Sly 1. I'm just going to call it Sly 1. It's easier. Um, let's play. That's the first Let's Play series of Sly 1. Hope you enjoyed it. It's my first ever Let's Play series. I'm, I'm branching off again. My first videos were glitch videos. After 20, after 20, 20, 2019, we branched off to mod videos and, and, um, and emulators. Now we've branched off from that to now Let's Plays. So, I hope you guys enjoy this content. I am still doing my ever content. I'm just doing this stuff too. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. You guys want to try this game? I would, I, I'm going to share this game with people because this game needs to be known about. This game is fun. Especially the second one. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.